For nearly 2,000 years, people have been blowing glass. And for almost that entire history of human-made glass, wood was the source to melt the glass. Trees, the life source of it all. We use, we burn, we build our lives upon this material which not only gives us warmth and shade, but the life source we breathe. With light and water, the trees transform our world season by season. We grow with them. And we die with them. The very first tiers that I began working on for the Toledo Art Museum and the Cincinnati Art Museum, they were in the field, color field of blue and crystal clear. However, this story, The Trail of Tears, it actually goes back a few years before those first exhibitions. I had been commissioned by the race car company Ferrari to make some trophies for their races. And these bottles were actually the catalyst for me to finding the tears. I would need to get the glass extremely hot in order to form the body of the vessel. And many times it would get too hot. I'd get it just a bit hot and it'd drip off onto the floor. We call those pieces floor models. One time as I had this perfect bottle made and I came out of the fire, the glass got too hot and began to drip off the blowpipe. Rather than getting angry and throw the glass down and try to start another one, I kept lifting the blowpipe and lifting and blowing and blowing. And I knew at that moment I had just discovered something that was even more meaningful, even more powerful and purposeful than these bottles themselves. And so the tears really took me on a journey that I had no idea it could. And when I was making those bottles for a Ferrari, I had no idea that would be the catalyst to take me around the country and across the sea and to be able to share this journey with so many different people along the way. <laughs> 